actual text without actually printing it out on paper and using a physical highlighter. You can do it all right on the computer, therefore saving paper and saving ink. I know some people don't have the ability to print at home, so this can help you do that. So here is a PDF that I scanned in from the book on writing well. This chapter on science and technology is what we're going to look at. So first what you need to do is I'm in preview which is a program that comes with every Mac. If you are using a uh, PC you can use Adobe Acrobat to do much the same thing. You have to find its version of this. So I'm clicking on this little pencil and it gives you something called the annotations toolbar. The annotations toolbar has shapes, you can see that, a highlighter, but the highlighter doesn't actually work in this case. So if I say I want to highlight this first line, it doesn't distinguish this text as different from any other text on the page because it basically took a picture of it. But what you can do is go here and go to the shape, like a rectangle, make the line thickness right here very thin, and then you can pick whatever color you want. Right now it's red, but you can select any of these colors. And let's say I want to highlight the first section here. You can't quite do it line by line, but if I want to say, you know, right here, this is the first part I want to highlight, I can just make a rectangle around it. And I also want to say something about that section. So I would go over here and go to where it has the text box, and it doesn't have to be a text box, it can be a text box or a speech bubble or a thought bubble, and maybe I want to say something about this, and say, I went to a liberal arts college, and this was really true. You could also if that's too big, you can make a more compact note by making a regular text box here. There are some ideas. You can take them, you can move them around, you can resize them, you can do all kinds of things with these. And if you hit delete once it's selected with those little gray dots around the outside, they disappear. Same here, same here. And so as you go through the pages, and for example, oh, I wanted to see what Harold Schmeck said. So a good example is an article by Harold M. Schmeck. Oh, that box is not quite the size I want it. Let me make it a little longer. Let me make it a little taller. Okay, so it's not perfect, but it is a way to get around uh, what's going on here. The other thing you could do is make arrows and you could use that with a text box as well. Okay, all of those are options for annotating and highlighting on a scanned PDF document. Alright, I hope this saves some paper and I hope you enjoy using the electronic version of a highlighter. Thank you.